today we are at Fairmont Chateau in Lake Louise and I'm going to be discussing something related to immigration. As you know, I started an immigration firm which is Kikomoto Immigration Firm and since then a lot of people are inquiring or are, are interested in migrating to Canada. Um, however, before I go ahead and discuss a specific stream or pathway that are fit for you, I wanted to stress the importance of having an initial consultation. So why is initial consultation important? First, the initial consultation would enable us to get to know and evaluate whether we have the confidence and trust in each other to develop a good immigration consultant client relationship. It would allow me to ask important and follow-up questions which would help me have a better insight of the totality of the client's circumstances. It would allow me to examine clients' papers to see what their immigration history is, to see what kind of problems they have. And sometimes I look at clients' papers and they don't even realize the importance of what they have. Many potential clients approach me to ask about particular immigration procedure. However, more often than not, I would introduce the client to an alternative immigration procedure or in some cases, an alternative solution to their immigration problem. In order to have the most productive initial consultation, I encourage clients to bring all their documents and identification cards with them. The first thing I would ask for is I want to see the client's valid government-issued identification documents or ID cards. After that, I want to see the travel documents that they have, such as passport or travel permits. This would give me insights of their past immigration history. I would look for any government aid or support documents such as income support or housing, or if you have any, I'd like to see the records associated with them. The next thing I would look for is their family documents such as marriage or divorce certificates and any child or children documents such as birth certificates or child custody agreements. In cases of parents or grandparents sponsorship, I would look for the proof of their relationship such as birth certificate. I would look for income documents such as income tax returns, salary slips, or employment contract, primarily because I want to see what happened for the last three tax years, especially if tax payments are made on time. Lastly, it is important to bring employment documents for the last 10 years, if possible. If you need to bring a translator, you're more than welcome to do so. And again, I can't stress enough the importance of these two things. First is full and 100% disclosure of everything. Never leave any little details because you think that it's not important. Most especially if you have any immigration or criminal records. I ask to see those even if you already served your sentence or it has been dismissed or you are wrongly accused. Non-disclosure of those would greatly impact your application and may result in misrepresentation and getting your immigration application rejected. In some cases, you may even be banned to enter Canada for a period of five years or so. Second, is the importance of reviewing the totality of the client's circumstances. That way, I can determine the best long-term strategy for the client and their family. So if you are interested in migrating to Canada, please watch this video and I hope you digest why initial consultation is important. Let me give you an analogy related to initial consultation. When you go to a doctor, you need to have an initial consultation. No doctor would give you a medicine or would go ahead and do a surgery without having an initial consultation, right? And that is because the doctor wants to know the totality of the issue. And that is the same with immigration. I need to know the totality of the situation in order for me to better assess what is the best pathway for you? What is the best approach in order for you to be able to live, work, 
or study in Canada. I hope you like this video and I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give this video a like or a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if I missed anything or if you need clarifications on something. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a great day!